Good morning! So I've finally gotten most of my videos edited and put up and now I can start vlogging again. Georgia's in there. I did have a request. Somebody asked me to talk about co-sleeping and how I sleep with her and I basically just sleep with her in my arms. I, like last night, I fell asleep on the couch here and, um... I just sleep with her like on my side and I'm a really light sleeper and so uh, I'm able to just lay there and sleep and have her sleep in my arm right there and then when she wakes up and wants to nurse then I just give her a boob and um, she falls asleep and I usually fall back asleep, kind of doze off and then um, just kind of burp her real quick and fall back asleep and it's super easy. Uh, I've done that with all of my babies. I know that there's people that are against that and um, are worried about, you know, like rolling over and sleeping on your baby or suffocating them. But I have, like I said, done that with all five of my babies and never had an issue. Um, I also sleep in the bedroom with her, um, with my husband too. Uh, since she's like right up against my body, like he doesn't get close to her, like close enough for anything to happen. Uh, I do have to prop up like a couple of pillows. It's just kind of hard to sleep, you know, with her and get, I have to kind of like get my head up higher. I don't know. It's, it's weird, but, um, oh, Georgia, baby girl, she got this blanket on her face. Can you say good morning? Anyways, so someone had asked me to talk about that. And so I wanted to talk about that real quick. Um, I don't know. That's pretty much it as far as uh, co-sleeping. Uh, at about, like, I don't know, six months or so is usually when um, they start sleeping through the night for me. And I can put them, you know, in their bassinet or crib or whatever. Uh... So now, anyways, it's morning time, and now the race is on because I have two babies that I have to change their cloth diapers, get them dressed, and get... Sorry, Gunner's... Gunner's pretty excited about his, uh... Gunner's pretty excited about his little piggy counting toy. Uh, I gotta get Gunner breakfast, and for me coffee first and foremost the Keurig is usually like one of the first places I go so all right so coffee and now I get to pick out a diaper for them and this is always one of my favorite parts of the of the day uh let's see we could do matching diapers for them today let's oh yeah georgia has a new one she has i think this one's called jelly i'm not positive but i think that one's called jelly and it actually matches the purple on gunner's equiano so i think i'm gonna do these two and open the curtains let in the light, see what kind of day it is. It's kind of a cloudy, yucky day, but we live in a daylight basement apartment, so I'd like to get as much light in here as possible, especially I have a plant that's dying. All right, so Gunner wanted, yeah, you have to take your passy out of your mouth, silly. Gunner wanted to eat first, so he was really hungry. So he's eating breakfast first, and then I'm gonna change him. So he's a hungry boy. Gunner, say hi. Hi. Say good morning. Good morning to all our adoring fans. Adore. Yeah, adoring fans. Good morning to all of our adoring fans. My sweet babies say good morning. Yeah, so I'm just going to vlog a little bit and like kind of show you guys what my life is like. Oh my gosh, and I have the most exciting news ever, you guys. So I am doing a cloth diaper review for a major cloth diaper company. Um, I'm not going to say who it is because um, it's still a couple weeks out and I want it to be a surprise. But I emailed this cloth diaper company 
and I asked if I could review one of their products and they said yes. I was so surprised, but they said yes and so I am over the moon excited. I was like, thank you God for this opportunity. I think that is so cool. I also asked if they would give me a diaper or a giveaway for you guys. Um, and so hopefully, fingers crossed, that they agree to do that because that would be cool. I'm trying to get a free diaper for one of my viewers. So, and I'm doing a review. Yeah, I'm just super, super excited about that. I've been wanting to tell you guys about that. There's, there's just been a lot going on. Uh, my life's been pretty crazy and hectic, but yesterday I buckled down. I got all my videos edited, I freed up all the memory I needed, and now I can vlog my little heart out. So I'm not gonna lie, in the morning everyone smells like pee. <laughs> I already changed Georgia, but Gunner, oh he's trying to give her kisses. G gentle, gentle. Gunner is still smelling like pee. Um, what I found that works really well is the cloth wipes with the wipe solution. It really helps with the smell of pee, cleaning it off of them. So, Gunner, lay down. So I use a cloth wipe and wipe him really good. And then I'm going to get his matching diaper on, the one that matches Georgia. And there he is in his diaper match in Georgia. Uh, the Bum Genius always have fit Gunner a little bit weird. As you can see, like I have to do the snaps funny. Otherwise, this part up here ends up with like a, I don't know, it's open up here. And, um, and they're real wide in his crotch because I have to double stuff them. And so they look really funny. I had posted up a picture online and a lady was was uh, critiquing my my fit the, or the way that I put this on on Gunner and I said it was because it's double stuffed and she was like, "Oh." Anyhow, um with Georgia, I wanted to show you guys this because careful, honey. I have been wanting to show you guys this for a while. I have seen um He's trying to give her loves. He's giving her loves. Okay, can I see her diaper now, Pumpkin? I'm trying to show everybody something. So I've been watching YouTube videos as usual. And even women, or I guess I should say and men as well, that are, um, you know, diehard cloth diapers, I see them putting these diapers on wrong. And what I mean is that... This right here, that when you have the rise snapped down, you are supposed to tuck it up so that when you put your fingers in, as as I'm showing you like this, um, that your fingers go up in the diaper. And I see and see how it um it ends up tucking the sides like like up. I don't even know how to how to describe it other than to show you guys if you don't put it to where it's folded up and I'll show you really quick okay so here is the difference if it is down you end up with all this bulkiness over here on the sides and it does not fit right like here now I'm gonna put it on all the way and show you guys but if it's down you will get like these flaps over on the side and you will You'll be able to tell, especially if you put it on your baby and just do this and see how the fit is different. You'll really be able to tell yourself. Are you a smiley girl? Hi, sweetheart. Georgia. Hi. Hi. Okay, now can you guys tell the difference here? See how it's got all of this bulkiness over here on the side now? Um, it's generally just not fitting as well on the front when it's down like this. And I see veteran cloth diapers who are actually like doing videos like how to put cloth diapers on a baby and they're putting them on like this. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, they're teaching people to put cloth diapers on wrong. 
And so this is not how you want it to be. And you can fix it with your fingers when it is like this. I mean, you just have to tuck it up and it will it'll slide it all up to where it is supposed to be. And now it is fixed and now it's not quite as pretty looking as if I'd fixed it before I put it on but it's still it is still better there isn't all that bulkiness it's it's like tucked up in there that is how you want to have them on I always see people put them on the wrong way and it will affect how the diaper fits and how the diaper functions uh, as well her little waist gets like tiny down here when I, when I tighten the diaper up a little bit more it looks like it's squeezing her but it's not um, this is actually too loose you want it to be loose um, but not quite that loose like that's a little bit too loose you want to be able to fit a couple fingers in there though and you don't want it so tight that it's leaving red marks on their body uh, then of course you don't want any leg gaps and you want it to you know go up to where it's I guess about to their about to their belly button maybe a little bit maybe a little bit lower like that so this I adjusted the waist and now it is just perfect it's not too tight on her and it's not too loose and uh, it fits just great this is how you want your cloth diaper to look um, another thing is you don't have to have the buttons exactly on the same setting on each side I mean if they're on the third over here and on the second over here that's okay as long as your baby has a good fit that's all that matters and so it doesn't have to be exactly on each side she happens to be you know even so there's two snaps left in the middle but it does not have to be that way so anyways that was my little bit of diaper tutorial for the morning and so since Gunner already ate now I'm gonna get these guys dressed they're changed I'm gonna get them dressed and here's my baby's dressed Gunner so that whole process breakfast changing getting them dressed and me getting coffee that takes about an hour that took close to an hour and so if we have somewhere we have to be in the morning I have to get up really early especially if I want to get myself ready too because it takes forever so here's these guys then I take both of their diapers into the bathroom to spray out and put in the wet bag I'm just gonna set those there for now and then their dirty clothes go to the hamper and then uh, you know the life of a housewife I am going to do some laundry today and some dishes I need to make the beds I need to vacuum just kind of you know your standard housewife stuff and then in addition I breastfeed and cloth diaper the babies all day and so anyone who ever says that being a stay-at-home mom is not a full-time job does not know what they're talking about <laughs> because it is way full-time. Uh, anyways, so that is kind of it. I'm hoping I get some fluff mail today. I usually get fluff mail a couple times a week. Yeah, I order a lot of stuff. And so I'm waiting on, I don't even remember, uh, some bum genius. I think I got an accidental, um... Oh, I got an accidental and a ribbit from one lady. Ribbit's a green one. Accidental is called that because uh, it has, it's blue and it has all different terms of like music terminology on it. And they messed up, they spelled one of the words wrong on it, like crisado or crescendo. Um, anyways, so they call it accidental because it was a mistake. And so I'm waiting on that diaper and then what else? I got, 
I got another Bum Genius, but I can't remember what it was. And then I found Glimmer, which is one of the hardest ones to find. And I found it last night on one of the Buy Sell Trade groups. It's a flip, meaning it's just the cover. But uh, I, I've been looking for it for months since I started cloth diapering and have not found one. And I finally found one and said I wanted it and I haven't heard back from the lady. So I'm kind of tripping about that. So hopefully I'll get it. Okay guys, I think I have some fluff mail out here. Oops, gonna, we need to keep the door open. Mommy's trying to get this. I do. I have a couple. Okay, now you can shut the door, honey. Thank you. All right. Guys, so it is fluff mail time. I'm super excited. I have no idea what these are. No clue. I just opened the top so that I could do this one-handed. All right, here's the ones I was talking about earlier. There is Ribbit and Accidental. Ribbit is kind of a, like an off green. It's actually really... I really like it. It's more of a pastel green than the other greens that he has. And then Accidental, like I said, has the music words all over it, like Trill, um, what else? I don't know how to say a lot of these, but Forte, Piano, vibra Vibrato, and then I guess the word that they misspelled is... Here's Crescendo right here. I'm not sure. Crescendo? Is that misspelled? I think. Is that how you spell Crescendo? I'm not sure. I honestly am not sure which one. But it is a pretty cute diaper. I think it's pretty cute. And it just, I mean, it goes with my Bum Genius collection. So there's two more for my Bum Genius collection, and I have no idea what the, oh, and another one, Alicia. This one's called Alicia, and it, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the print, but like I said, I wanted it for my collection, and it's in really good condition, so that's good. So there's three more for the old Bum Genius collection, and so I should, take them all out and take a picture. What do you want, buddy? You want you want that? All right. This is awesome. This Alicia is actually the very first of the Bum Genius Elementals that they made and I've been wanting to get one of these to review. Uh and so I have it now, which is awesome. Um so what happened is Bum Genius came out with they are on their third version of the Elementals. And I have the first and the second version. So the first version has these two flaps right here that are sewn in the back and the front. And it's double layered. And it's organic cotton. And then it's also lined in here with organic cotton. So that's between the baby and the PUL on the outside here. Then... Their next elemental, as you can see here, they took out that, that layer of organic cotton. So the PUL was exposed. And so you can just see all the way through. They have the two flaps, again, um, that are a little bit too big for the diaper. So you end up having to like fold it. I usually fold it like this for my son so that the extra is up in the front where he wets the most. And then for my daughter, I kind of double fold it so that the extra is in the middle where she wets the most. Uh, but that is kind of what they changed with the second version of the Elemental. And as you can see, this is the first time I've laid them side by side uh, as well. But it looks like the second version is much, much wider. It looks like the, their flip diapers are really wide as well. And it looks like they kind of did that with these. So this is the first 
This is the second. Mm -hmm. And now they have their new, new version of the Elemental, mm -hmm. which I don't have one yet. Mm -hmm. But I will get one, you guys. And then I will do a video to mm -hmm. compare all the three and do like kind of a review of all three of them. That is why I got this one in particular. I think I got all three of these from the Cloth Diaper Auction Group. I got these two for like like $10 together. I got both of them. And then I got this one, uh, I think for like $7 or something. And so it wasn't very much. Considering these diapers are at least 20, the elementals are like 25 brand new. And so this was, you know, 20, 40, $65 worth of diapers right here. Uh, if they were brand new, they're in great condition. And I got them for like $17 plus shipping. So the cost of one diaper. So that's pretty awesome. So that means that... That made me really happy. I love getting fluff mail. Gunner's pushing a chair across the kitchen. I love getting fluff mail. It is always the highlight of my day. What are you doing? Where are you pushing that chair? What are you doing? Now it's getting close to time to change him and get him down for a nap. And I need to start some laundry and... Um, still other stuff but I haven't been able to do much because Georgia wants to nurse non-stop so Gunner got into a milk chocolate Keurig is that yummy turn your back for one second and this is what happens Gunner Lucas that's a no-no that's a no-no is that nummy Dunnummy. I need to go down for a nap, so I'm going to change these guys into matching diapers again. Gunner's going to get a hemp insert in his, though. Georgia's very cranky. Very cranky. Hey, here they are in their matching diapers. Gunner barely fits in his. It's, <laughs> it's so stuffed. And then Georgia, poop, she's mad. She pooped in her new diaper. It's a guarantee if I put a new diaper on her, she will poop in it. Guaranteed. And Gunner's going to go down for a nap. Say night night. Good boy. He gets his dory blanket, which is laying in there in the bathroom. And he goes night night. Hi guys, we're up from our nap. Now I am making some soup for dinner and just waiting for my husband to get home from work. And uh, the baby is freaking out. <laughs> she does not like to be put down, but sometimes I have to put her down to get things done. Uh, so I'm making dinner and then I was thinking I'd do a video on different inserts. Um, someone had requested that I do that and what my favorite diapers are uh, for newborn and one size. So I'm going to try and do that after dinner is ready. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it.